$75,000 per year. That's the so-called happiness limit. One of the most cited statistics in happiness research. But what if that number is wrong? A new study published in PNAS, one of the leading scientific journals, looked at real-time happiness data of 33,000 individuals, resulting in 1.7 million reports. And the result? Happiness keeps going up far beyond an income of $75,000 per year. But how did the researchers arrive at this conclusion? The old study asked people to recall how happy they felt the day before. The new study checks in with people several times per day to report the happiness in that moment. Memory is fuzzy, as you've seen in earlier videos. And real-time emotion tracking is much more accurate. The old study asked people to report whether they are happy, yes or no. It's like a light switch on or off. The new study asked people to report their happiness on a sliding scale, like a happiness thermometer. In the 2010 study, high income people could just report, yes, I feel happy, but there was no room for them to report greater levels of happiness. In the new study, they can. The old study asked people to report on their happiness just once. The new study collected dozens of responses per person over time. And this makes the data far more reliable. So what about these results? Income above $75,000 keeps increasing happiness, especially by increasing positive emotions like confidence, pride and inspiration. And where it gets really fun. If you want to further increase your happiness, give some of that money away. Because giving makes happy. That is what we see over and over again in philanthropy research. See you next time. And don't forget to stay happy.